Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to give you the day one recap of the Righteous Fire Inquisitor leveling. It was a breeze, it was a blast, it went through way faster through the axe than I thought. Um, it's actually much, much, much more tanky leveling because Pious Path does work the way we thought it works, where essentially your life regen is mimicked to your energy shield regen. It's not that it just gets 6% ES regen. Uh, an easy way to test this is if I turn off my... Oops, Daisy. If I turn off my vitality, you can see that our ES starts to degen. That's because we don't have enough ES regen to sustain it. When I turn it back on, it goes back in. The reason why the life doesn't go down is simply because um, our life regen is added to our ES. We don't have two times life regen on the ES. So when the ES burns, you still have the life to go through. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go through my links real fast, and then I'm going to jump into a map. So we've got Fortify, Faster Attacks, Shield Charge, uh, Scorching Ray, Infused Channeling, Inspiration, Burn Damage. Uh, I'm using Inspiration because I'm using it on my RF too, so this just helps sustain it across the board. Flesh and Stone, Orb of Storms, Inspiration. I am not using the Flammability Curse on hit. I much prefer just Inspiration to 5 link my RF. I've got Ellie Focus, Burn Damage, Efficacy, Righteous Fire, and Inspiration here. Second Wind, Infernal Cry, Urgent Orders, Enduring Cry. This is what I use to... Uh, Infernal Cry essentially helps a lot with map clearing. Um, Enduring Cry is just a massive Omega sustain button. Down here I've got Purity of Fire, Vitality, Frost Shield, which we are trying out now. I'm most likely going to be moving Frost Shield to the trigger weapon. Basically, you click Frost Shield, it takes from your ES, and then gives you like a mini fortify, sort of. It's pretty interesting, actually. Um, something I'm definitely going to talk about a little bit later. Don't forget, if you need tips for leveling in the stream, use the exclamation mark FAQ command. It'll bring up a nice FAQ for you. Also, feel free to check out the previous leveling videos on the character explaining what to do. With that being said, let's go jump into my first Conqueror map. Oh, and then here you can see our current cluster jewels. I've got a Burning Bright, a Burning Bright, working on getting another Burning Bright, and this is currently just a Vile Reinvigoration. <gasps> Sacred Grove? <gasps> it's my first time finding Harvest! <gasps> I bid you a dispersed life force okay what do you uh, socket random cold random speed oh god and this guy wants something uh, why does everything happen in trade league at the same time i don't even know man i'm just gonna take this one so what happens? I just I just click it now and it goes. I must have time to gather my will. Oh, I guess it does. Also, I apologize for the lag. The league start has been horrible on the lag for me. I'm not really sure why. Horty Crafter Station is now okay. So I can How do I Oh, I just click it here to put it in Horty Craft though? Okay, perfect. Reforge a rare item with new cold, reforge a rare I'm just gonna fucking bank like everything. I'll do this later. Good enough for me. Perfect. Done. Beautiful. Go and gather. And I think that's all I get, right? Oh my god, you get more and more? Okay, it's just one other one. Alright. No problem. Let's see. Um Reveals a currency crafting outcome, currency sacrifice, random physical, random attack modifier. I need. I really need to remember what I want. I'll just click this one for now. I thought after ending my 17 hour stream, I was going to get to relax my brain, not have to think more. GG. Forty crafting station is full. Not like this. <laughs> um, can I remove? Uh, 
Okay, there's two more. Um, this one here. Let's go. Change a gem to another gem, and then. Sure. Okay, good enough. I'm just gonna skip it, and we'll get harvest another time. Sorry about that detour. Let us continue. What a shitty spot to have this fucking type of uh, ritual. So far, the Ritual League mechanic itself, in my opinion, has been like a 10 out of 10. Well, I got a sub? That's weird, I'm not even live on Twitch. Well, if you're watching this, Niftu, thanks so much for the Prime, man. Very kind of you. We're definitely working on trying to get our AoE as high as possible. I'm definitely going to opt out to not using Conk Effect. The only time I'm, I think I'm going to use Conk Effect is if I get an Elder Helm that has, like, Conk and Burn or something. Um, I really want to try to scale the AoE to make this feel much better. Okay, we'll dodge that. Trail with the Prime. Am I live on Twitch? No, I'm not live. Where are these subs coming from? Thank you, Thrail, for the Prime. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> this feels so strange. You know what? Maybe they wanted to wait until after the stream to show their support. Ah, but this is counterintuitive because now it's going to be popping up in a YouTube video. <laughs> also, I'd like to mention the path of building for this exact character will be posted in the description uh, and pinned in the comments. So when I wake up tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have a bunch of questions asked about the build. Um, you, so you guys can pretty much pick up where I left off at level 80. And hopefully that helps you get into the current content. Okay. Harvester of foes? What is Harvester of foes? Impale effect. I wonder if that's got value on it. It's got impale effect. With Pierce. Interesting. Well, for now, I'll just take this because it could have value. And Acton's Nightmare. Yeah, sure. So I want to bring up something that a lot of people are going to ask me about, um, Rise of the Phoenix. I know I put Saffle's frame inside my uh, POB. Uh, I did talk about this a little bit, but the reason why I'm running a Rise of the Phoenix right now is I am not really scared of elemental damage at the moment. Uh, in this low tier content of mapping, really barren of everything in the game is the most terrifying in a mapping scenario for elemental damage. Uh, so Rise of the Phoenix essentially helps me because it gives me more life, which gives me a higher buffer against chaos damage, and it gives me one max res higher than a uh, Saffles, specifically for fire, 
which helps with the energy shield sustain. After I have fixed the physical mitigation layers on the character, aka acquiring physical damage taken as fire, then we will move into a Saffle's frame. Just because we'll be losing all of our block chance and turning it into spell block at that point. There's so many mobs coming out of this. There's so many I'm about to level up. I take that and I'll take uh, some Alex and spam him anyway. All right, let's see how the single target is. Shadow can never overtake light. I don't want to be empowered. No of sin could be this don't you love when you level up off a boss fight, man? It just feels so good, you know? Reminds you like the old days. Single targets are right for now. Nothing crazy good. You know, this is very low tier content. But it's definitely enough for me to kind of breeze through. So that's really nice. Put that there. All right. Yeah, so let's talk about the passive tree. Um, kind of why I decided to go where. So this is the current passive tree that I have right now. Now for a breakdown on where to go and what to do, you can find that in the POB. You can also find that in the leveling sections of uh, the other videos I've put on YouTube. So I decided to grab uh, AOE early and more AOE here. The reason why is my RF does much more damage than I thought it would. I thought I was going to be clearing with Scorching Ray, but RF is just doing a ton of damage. So we are opting out to six length the RF first and then the Scorching Ray as a secondary. Um, over here, you can see I have grabbed a Burning Bright Cluster, a large jewel, along with a Burning Bright Medium, uh, which happens to have this Vile Reinvigoration, which is pretty good. Uh, next step, I'm gonna be working on getting another Medium Jewel, ideally for another Burning Bright, and then any other notable that rolls here. I'm not sure when I'm gonna go for the small clusters with life. At the moment, you can get such crazy small uh, jewels in general from this league. Uh, so I think I'm just going to be filling it up with these until I decide to roll like the proper fire resist or life ones uh, And I don't really know the best properties to get but chaos resist is something I'm, I'm really looking after I hate dealing with chaos damage So definitely getting this you can also just opt out on not using clusters if you don't want to at the beginning and instead Just come over here. I have it in the tree which grabs breath of flames and then you can grab like cruel preparation um, also, for my build, I can start scaling more life because I'm not degenerating at all uh, with RF on, uh, which is really, really nice, even if I'm, just in general, I'm not degenerating at all. For the Pantheons, I've got Soul of the Brine King, which actually I should switch now to Soul of Arakali because that's specifically set up for even against damage over time, which is pretty nice. Um, although, realistically, it might be better to use Soul of... Lunaris because we're constantly getting hit and getting hit just builds up physical damage reduction So a lot of really good options here that are not really sure what to do at the moment I've just got Aberath because that reduces the fire damage taken. So that's nice uh, And then flash setup is pretty simple at the moment. I just wanted a curse removal and a bleed removal So I've got the ruby flask. I've got the sapphire I would use a basalt, but it takes way more charges and I can't really sustain that early on So this is just what I've got and then which fire is really cheap in the league right now So we got one of those this firing needs to go because it's fucking up my ee on the shield charge by converting part of the cold to fire but it's not too bad because you just override it with an orb of storms uh, and then next up of course getting a trigger weapon is something that i'm really looking after as the trigger weapon would save me two keybinds i would not have to spam my orb of storms anymore and i would not have to spam my um uh, frost shield which is kind of interrupting my character all the time anyway you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys had a good league start. We have found three exalts, so that's pretty cool. Two as drops and one that I keep deferring until I can actually afford it. So good luck to you guys. Good luck on all your RNG. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm super tired. Take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox.